Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today is a special coffee which is talking about CISSP ISSAP. There are very limited resources on ISSAP so I thought I will make some coffee shot on this particular topic. In this session, I'm going to discuss some five questions which map with some topics of CISSP ISSAP. If you're new to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. Let's start with the first part. Okay, so first coffee shot. You recently joined ABC Limited as a security architect. You required or you involved in building process for data protection and they must take precaution to guarantee that sensitive customer information is not unintentionally shared with unauthorized party. Which solution method is best suited to preventing this type of activity? If the question talking about like they're looking for a solution which basically ensure that okay data should not disclose to unauthorized party and uh, the keyword here is talking about shared. Okay, and they're looking for the best suited uh, for this activity. I'm sure you were looking for the answer is encryption, but encryption is basically used to protect against unauthorized disclosure. Here the question specifically talking about restriction of sharing. Okay, even if the encrypted data can be shared, that is a different story. He does not have or she does not have a key. They cannot able to access. Question talking about unintentionally shared. If they unintentionally shared, they want to restrict that. So encryption is removed. DRM is basically used in a data and use stage. Example, right now you're watching my video. So video is already released. Okay, maximum I can control this video by applying the copyright restriction. So you can't take a print screen and all that, but data is already in use. So DRM cannot be the answer. DLP can be the answer because DLP basically ensure data should not leave in an unauthorized manner because it is a solution which is introduced uh, to control the movement of data which is going from inside to outside but federated system is all about access management so D removed A and C is very close so I will basically go with the answer DLP because by the implementation of DLP you will ensure the data should not be disclosed to unauthorized parties okay even sometime user click on some social engineering links and all that but still DLP will restrict those movements so that's why the answer is basically C let's move to the next coffee shot See, one thing uh, before going to start this sec second coffee shot, what will be a thought process in a CISSP, ISSAP? See, in ISSAP, your role is a security architect who involved in building solution, building process. Okay, in CISSP, you have to think like a manager where you're giving a solution. But in the architect, you need to know the principles based on which you need to build something. So most of the question talk about foundation requirement and all that okay instead of asking about the solution okay so here the second coffee shot which of the following is the foundation the keyword is which of the following is the foundation of system access control it means i am an architect and they are asking me what is the foundation for system access controls option a combined usage of subject object permission right definitely we need to consider subject which is a user object is the folder which you want to access you need to define the permissions and rights so permission is something we assign and rights the default user has so it look a is very close option b is combined usage of roles separation duty and rights somehow b is part of a as a high level because permission is driven through our roles and rights is driven by separation of duty option c combined usage of dual control separation duty and rights definitely it is origin from the a because this is can be a principle and this is the outcome but if you can see d combine usage of subject subject is a user object is the resources you want to access permission can be defined what level of and business requirements and rights so d has one important option which is why i'm going with this called as a business requirement so as an architect when i'm building a system access control these are the important foundations we have without which we cannot build the proper system access control that's why I'm going with the answer D. Let's go with the next coffee shot. Okay, so as an architect, I receive one problem here, like which of the following fundamental mechanism, keyword is fundamental mechanism, provide confidentiality, 
integrity availability of information within the IT system it mean if I'm an architect and I'm looking for something fundamental by which we can able to achieve CIA what is that fundamental here auditing if I go by a access control definitely that is a close option auditing is only and only as a detective mechanism accounting is detective mechanism encryption only talk about the confidentiality if I go by access control it somehow cover the CIA how suppose this is the file we have it is only available to the authorized user so by this way we achieve the confidentiality and by this way we also ensure data will be protect from unauthorized modification because we apply the right permission and data must be available to only authorized user by which we achieve the availability so somehow by applying the access control we are achieving a CIA that's why the close option is A for alpha okay let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay so question talking about the ability of an access control mechanism it means we want to implement access control process which is a mechanism to provide the desired security service definitely access control was introduced to achieve the desired security service but it is predicted upon the correct implementation of which one of the following factor so as a security architect when we implementing access control we need to consider multiple factor okay regulation is mandatory we cannot ignore uh, law is important industry standard is important organization policy is important but the question talking about correct implementation and second keyword is predicted it means depend so the hierarchy is that first is basically law law is supreme authority which is introduce a regulation based on the regulation we adopt the policy and policy driven by the industry standard so most important thing based on which we translate the requirement is the policy okay after building a policy which is strategic in nature we basically implement the access control that's why the close option I'm going with the answer D okay because as security architect law is basically high level but within the organization I'm on the operation level implementing access control for me I need to understand the intent first and that is captured in the organization policy if I remove D and I say what is the first important factor then answer is law and regulation but the best predicted based on which we implement the services is the policies because policy talk about why we need this that's why we went with the D as an answer let's move to the next coffee shot thank you your organization is building a new application that will be collecting credit card information to process transactions keyword is credit card information process transaction you need to ensure application must comply with PCI DSS standard which of the following details are prohibited it means restricted from being stored in the application primary account number definitely it is store card holder name definitely it is store expiration date is also store what we don't store is a CVV number that's why the answer is basically D okay the answer is basically D. ABC is stored there, but CVV number we never store. So as a security architect, when we building an application, consider this factor. And according to that, you can define the logics. If you find this video useful, do share your comments and uh, do share me your feedback. What kind of a further videos you want on ISSAP? Do share your suggestions. Do you want more videos on ISSAP? And do check my description box in which I have discussed about the introduction of I will share the link of the new uh, the previous video in which I covered about the ISSAP introduction. Thank you for watching my video. Goodbye.